So I'm gonna make a video for uh, resources, mathematic resources. I'm a math teacher online. I've been working on PrePy for about two years. I've got four and a half thousand classes done. And these resources took me about a year and a half to find. It took me a long time to search through everything on the internet. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of paid resources and a lot of free resources. When you're just starting out, you wanna use free resources, but then as you get more money, more students, you can start to invest in paid resources. I'm gonna go through a few of my mathematics resources, the ones I use the most, and I think uh, some of the best. I'm gonna to have to do this in a couple of videos because there's quite a lot out there. So the very first thing, if I'm gonna teach somebody and they are literally in kindergarten or first year or uh, year, year one or grade one, is I'm gonna use K5 Learning. K5 Learning is a really good website. It's really, really nice. They've got their own courses, um, but they've also got some three free maths worksheets and they're really good quality. They break everything down into tiny little incremental steps and obviously they have um, you know, all the answers on there. Um, but what's more important is they have structure so you can literally, if you don't, not familiar with what you're doing, you can start on question one and then uh, section one and work your way through per grade. So if I got a third grade student and um, I don't know what to teach them, I can click on here, pick up some stuff very quickly and then find out um, we can do multiplication, addition, whatever we need to do. And it really breaks it down into a lot of different topics. It's so many different topics, I don't even need to do them all. We can skip over some of those worksheets. Also, they give you five different versions or six different versions of each worksheet normally, which is great because it means you can repeat them again later. Okay, about this website is it does give you kindergarten to grade six, which is great for the lower level. I use it for British students, international students, and American students, but it is a bit drill and kill. It does have just huge work suits with loads and loads of exercises. And sometimes that's really, really good. Sometimes, especially younger kids, they just wanna do that. They just wanna sit down and do loads of multiplication, loads of addition. They wanna get an idea and just do it again and again and again. They don't They wanna do it every day, but they do wanna do it sometimes. So I do use that quite a lot. And it was a, it was a really good, it was a good lifesaver when I started out. Okay, after that, we have Corbett Maths. Corbett Maths Primary is really, really good for um, elementary school and primary school. It doesn't give you the structure. It gives you a whole list of PDFs, which are very, very good. Um, it also gives you all the solutions. And there's videos on each one as well. I never use the videos. I never use the solutions. Um, I just use the PDFs. They're really, really good quality. They're a very nice mixture of um, questions, mathematical questions, and then word questions, math questions and word questions in the same PDF. And they take a an idea, and it's very graduated, so it's very nice. They take it from about second grade, third grade, or year two, year three, up until a year six or sixth grade. So it does get quite difficult towards the end, but it does give you this really uh, differentiated and graduated worksheet, which means you can pick it and use it for any student. Um, the problem with that is that you can't use it more than once. You can use it one time or two times and the student will finish it. So you need a bit more long-term solution, a longer term solution for, than this. But it's really, really nice quality, we love it. Uh, my students love it as well. They really like that mixture of uh, questions and then word questions. Um, so it has a whole bunch of uh, different topics on the Corbett primary mass. It's really, really good. After that, we go to secondary. And um, the, my, I use this more than anything is the British education system. I use um, mathgenie.co.uk. I also use this for the American education system, but it takes um, individual topics and explains them. But the really good thing about this is it has a lot of structure to it and it goes from the easiest level right down to the most complicated level. So it goes from about year seven up until year 10, which is like grade seven up until grade 10. And um, everything's labeled by individual topics. So if I know my students need something like trigonometry, I can find it very quickly. We can go straight into that. If I don't know what to give them or they're working for a long period of time, we start at the beginning and then we go right down to the end. And that, that I can be sure I cover every single topic Topic in the curriculum, which is great. It's really, really detailed, really high quality. The question packs take about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour for each one. Depends on your student. My older students do it in about 30 minutes, so they can do two in a class, sometimes three, and the younger students take a full hour to do one, which is just right. It's perfect. It's really, really nice. I use that more than anything else. Um, again, I'm going to use Corbett Maths uh, for secondary school level. Corbett Maths also has a secondary school level for mathematics worksheets and we're going to work through them um, in the same kind of way. They doesn't have the structure. It doesn't have this um, uh, there's this easy to, to look complicated structure. It just has a whole bunch of worksheets which are alphabetically organized. So you need to know what you're teaching and you can find it very quickly. But then you do need to add that structure. Um, when I'm teaching American students, I'm going to use Cutter software. 
Now, Cutter Software is really good software, really, really nice. It's based around the core, uh, the common core. Uh, so that's great. It has uh, pre-algebra for seventh grade students, algebra one, uh, geometry one, algebra two, pre-calculus, and then calculus. I haven't got enough fingers for that one. Um, and that's really, really cool. It means that um, we it has a lot of structure to it. It means we can work through the... Uh, the structure on the website, we literally just take the menu, I, I screenshot the menu and say we're going to do each section one by one. Um, and the students have a very clear idea what's going on, where they're going and, and what there is left to do. I can highlight the most difficult parts of the course, the easiest parts, the quickest parts, the slowest parts. And again, the worksheets are very, very good quality. We uh, They provide you your worksheets and then solutions. Everything's free because these are free samples. Uh, I never have to buy the actual software because the software is designed for big schools, um, or for more than one student and I'm working on a one-to-one -one basis so I need one student for one worksheet that's great uh, because it means it doesn't cost me anything um, I would buy the software but I just can't justify it because uh, I don't need anything more than the free free samples it's really really good um, really really nice the American style curriculum on the, the cutter software is a bit dry sometimes and it does give you like one worksheet or two worksheets with about 10 exercises or 20 exercises all crammed in on it so then I do supplement that with the British education system because um, or the British worksheets because like I said they're much more uh, digestible you can get into the software you can get into the you can get into the questions much better you can understand it much better 